Hey, we're here to see your gym and fridge. Hey, how are you? Come on in. Hey Gavin, let's start with your fridge. Who uses this fridge? Well, I have kids and a dog, so there always has to be food for them. What do you always keep in your fridge? A fresh Impossible Burger. We're trying to cut down on all our meat consumption for sake of the animals, sake of the planet. There's always eggs. Vital Farms, I like how they are. They're doing some amazing things. They have a program where they're trying to discover the sex of the embryos. So you don't have to have all these male chickens cold. And then vegetables, you know, like mushrooms. I love mushrooms. Really good for your strength and there's a lot of nutrients in that. Hmm, interesting. Got peas, carrots, turnips, spring onions, and leeks. Do you drink? I have a bar next door, so I don't want people to think I'm teetotal. I'm not trying to be pretending to be someone I'm not, you know? These are always really good to have. Chickpeas, lentils, artichoke hearts. They're good to kind of throw into a salad. Miso, tofu, you have to give it so much love, but it takes all the love in the world. How are you avoiding turning to comfort food during these times? I like try to work out or do some exercise. Three times a week, I play a lot of tennis. And the rest of the time, um, I do like light stuff. 20 minutes on my bike, 20 minutes on the rowing machine, just break a sweat, some sit-ups. What do you eat for breakfast? I just take some uh, oatmeal and soak it overnight with coconut milk and honey, and then for hemp seeds, chia seeds, flax seeds, whatever I have on the hand. I put the protein powders in there, in the oatmeal, so then I have like a real child's breakfast. What's the one thing Gavin's got to have in his fridge? Probably eggs. I like them in soy sauce and uh, rice wine vinegar, boiled. I can have them with just with salt and pepper. I like it all. Eggs are very, very versatile. I have a little herb garden that I just built over quarantine. So it's kind of fun to go outside and get you know, standard rosemary, sage, thyme, and you get some great results and I love it. What's your go-to dish? I can make really crunchy, fluffy potatoes with great gravy. And every Sunday we have a Sunday roast. If you don't have an English Sunday roast, I mean like, you're not really English. Is there any food you don't like? As a cook, I just love to eat everything. And I think that if you don't like something, it's often the way it's prepared more than the actual ingredient itself. What's your go-to protein? Probably peanut butter. I love beans, white beans, black beans. I make soups. You soak it and then you cook it and then you boil it, then you roast it in the oven. That's the best protein. That's the greatest protein. Toughest diet you've ever tried? I've done the 10 day fast, which some people now say is not very smart, but the cayenne pepper, honey, lemon, and water. First three days of no food is really hard. But then after three days, you become really self-satisfied, slightly judgmental, slightly full of it. You know, and then when you eat again, you feel like, now I'm mental. It's 2 a.m. What are you grabbing from the fridge? Candy, chocolate, cookies. My kids aren't here this week. They come back on Friday. And I think I finished everything sweet in the house. I think there's nothing left. Okay, Gavin, let's check out where you work out. I've never been a gym person. I do a lot of stretching. I play, you spend a lot of soccer, so it's not about doing two hour workouts. Everything's just about trying to make ourselves feel good so we can combat the challenges that everyone throws at us every day. I use the punch bag a lot, and that's really good for agility and speed. These rope things are amazing. Damn, Gavin. Nice moves. What keeps you motivated? I think that it's just knowing that time is finite and getting the most out of ourselves. You know, I want to write great records. I love performing on stage, so it really is helpful that I'm fit. People always are like pretty surprised at my energy level on stage. That's where it all comes from. My favorite part about working out is the connection that you feel to your body. The least favorite part about working out is when you're hungover or you don't feel good. Do you ever work out with anyone else? I work out with my kids. I try and get them to just do stuff with me. What's your morning routine like? The morning is usually filled with some physical activity and then in the afternoon it's all about self-indulging music, reading a book, or at the moment doing quite a bit of press for the deluxe version of the Kingdom record. Do you have any special equipment? Uh, we do lots of BOSU ball work and it's all about gripping with your feet so you can, again, further ways to just get more connected with yourself. What about fitness goals? Doing shows for me. It's tiring and it's exhausting, of course, and we do it for months on end. So you, you get a bit injured, you get a bit hurt. The only way I can do the shows and the way that I do them is because I have this um, awareness with my own body. It gives me all the incredible fitness, the cardio fitness that I never think about. How is mental health fitness important? 
There's such great awareness about mental health right now, and it's been overlooked for far too long, especially for, for young males. Keeping fit makes you feel better, gives you a better sense of self. It's not about having the perfect Adonis body, it's just finding balance and getting the most out of yourself in a reasonable way. Okay, Gavin, time for rapid fire questions. Workout time, 7 a.m. or 7 p.m.? 7 a.m. Squat or deadlift? Squat. Favorite song in your playlist? Aerial by System of a Down. Pull up or chin up? Pull up. Dumbbells or kettlebells? Uh, dumbbells. Run on a treadmill or the great outdoors? Great outdoors. Cardio or weights? Cardio. Big legs or big arms? Big legs. Biggest compliment, Jack, ripped, cut, or swole? Cut. If you could work out with anyone in the world, dead or alive, who would it be? Bob Marley. Play soccer with him. Just have it back. Okay, guys. Thanks for coming around. <laughs>